So at Heroes Con, I was doing some um, commissions and I got chastised a bit from some fellow artists that I was not charging enough based on what I was doing um, for especially like a full sized commission at like this size, full color. I dropped something in a box down there. Oh, it's just my glasses. I don't need those. Um, so it got me thinking that about the last time I uh, raised prices uh, on commissions, and artists always, uh, every artist I know kind of goes through this. You don't, we're always hesitant, hesitant to raise prices on our stuff. I think it may be because we don't see our own stuff the way other people see it. Um, we have a tendency to just see things we don't like or tried and didn't achieve and whatever it is. But um, the first time I ever, I mean, I was doing stuff real cheap, and then the better I got, I had customers and tell me, you need to raise, you need to charge more for this. So when a customer tells you that, you should probably do it. But at a certain point, you know, you get better and you're putting time in, and uh, you have to kind of value your own stuff and um, price it. And so I'm kind of at that point where I'm looking at the amount of work I've put into, full, especially full color, because just about everything I do is full color now. Um, and I'm thinking price breaks ought to be like ink and then full color. Um, so I've gotten into a problem, not a problem, but there's, the danger is you know when you need to raise prices, when you start taking commissions and you have several of them, and the more you're working on them, it's taking so much time that you realize the cost, you know, um, of it really isn't compensating how much time it's taking for this piece. And you don't want to price outrageously, but if, if that starts to be an issue and you're juggling, you know, actual deadlines with published stuff, you have to start thinking about it. And that's kind of where I am right now. I don't know what I'm going to charge, uh, and I'm sure it will weed out some, some people, um, unfortunately, but that's just, I mean, I, you know, I have to, uh, uh, take into account my, my time and, and all that stuff. So, uh, I'm still toying with it. I would be interested to know if you, any artist, but really not necessarily even just artists, but any kind of, uh, creator or just any, any kind of, um, you know, uh, um, self-employed, uh, small business, whenever you decided to raise prices on whatever it is you do, uh, what was the catalyst that made you do it, and what was the effect? Did you did it hurt you, or or did it in the long run help? Um, so that's that's kind of where I am uh, at the moment. So I am going to just think about. I don't have another show, another commission uh, or con convention uh, until uh, August. I don't know. I'm going to San Diego, but I'm not setting up, so that doesn't count. Um, another thing too is you. Um, convention sketches and commissions are a little different than commissions I do over the mail um, because I can in the comfort of my studio do them they tend to be a little bit better I can put more time into them and tweak them can, and I'm not interrupted constantly I mean if my son's here I am but um, at a at a convention it's like the worst uh, setup for drawing uh, because you've got People you need to interact with coming up. You've got bad lighting, a bad seat. You're fatigued just from the chair sitting in this spot. It's just not a great, you know, conducive environment. You still, you know, you still have to pull off good stuff, but things are slightly better if you commission them over, you know, the um, over email and and we mail things back and forth. So I may have two price ranges there too. So I have just different factors I got to uh, take into account. So. Anyway, that's it for today. Just a quick vlog. I am off to do the next thing. Uh, I'm trying to wrap up issue G of G.I. Joe, Real American Hero number 243. I'm just about done. I'm wrapping it up um, pretty soon. It has to be done this week. But uh, in the meantime, subscribe. There's a little icon down here. You should click on it and subscribe if you haven't. And like and share and all that stuff. So I will see you tomorrow.